Now we'll do the sixth question. So it says integral of root of a x plus b times ds. Right. Here the idea is in most of the cases, most of the cases, right, wherever you have a square root of some function inside, that function inside the square root should be considered as p. Okay. Right. So having said this, in this case, we will substitute ax plus b as p because that is a function inside the square root. In place, differentiating on both sides, what do we get? a into derivative of x is dx by dt plus derivative of b is 0 is equal to 1. Right. So, dx will be equal to dt divided by a. Now, having said that, wherever ax plus b is there, I will replace with p. So, it is square root of p into the place of dx, we can write it as dt by a. Okay. So, it is square root of t into dt divided by a. So, it is 1 by a into integral of square root of t can be written as t power half times dt. Okay. So, this will be 1 by a into using the formula x power n plus 1 by n plus 1, we get t power half plus 1 is 3 by 2, the whole divided by 3 by 2 plus c. Okay. So, the final answer will be 2 divided by 3a. So, this 2 will go to the numerator, 2 divided by 3a into t power 3 by 2 plus c. This is equal to 2 by 3a into t replaced with ax plus b. We get ax plus b the whole power 3 by 2 plus c. So, 2 by 3a into ax plus b the whole power 3 by 2 plus c is the final answer.